Hey everyone, today I'll be indulging my love for metals by casting bars out of a bunch of different ones. Uh, these are all the metals that I'm currently able to melt with my uh, various furnace setups. So the metals we're going to make bars out of are tin from tin scrap, uh, lead, bismuth, zinc from a boat anode, and aluminum, which was melted down from soda cans. Now each of these bars will be the same size and shape, and so we'll be able to use them to show uh, the differences in physical properties between these metals. Some places have these types of sets available for just that purpose, for classroom use. So let's get started. So the first metal we'll be melting is tin, uh, and I've got a couple of pieces of tin scrap from other things that I, I've done and uh, didn't end up using them. So we're going to melt those down and uh, recast them into a bar. So I'll put that into the uh, furnace here. And it shouldn't take long at all for tin to melt. And uh, this is also the bar mold that we'll be using, and I'll put that in as well to heat it up. And uh, cover it on up. Tin has a fairly low melting point, so fairly quickly it's already completely molten, and now we'll cast it into a bar. Next up is lead, and again we have just scrap pieces of lead. My lead actually has quite a bit of slag on it, so what I need to do is scrape some of that off the top with just a utensil here. You can see when I do that, we reveal the uh, really shiny metal beneath. So sometimes you have to do this with uh, some of your more dirty metals. Now that my lead is melted and nice and clean, we're ready to pour. Next up is bismuth, and these are chunks broken off from a larger piece. You can see how nice and crystalline they are, which I think is pretty awesome. Now to pour the bismuth. This is especially nice because it forms really nice rainbow colored oxides. Next up is zinc. These pieces were melted off of a larger uh, zinc boat anode, so they're little blobs. After scraping off a small amount of slag, the zinc is now ready to be poured. So now we're going to melt aluminum. Uh, this one requires a bit more heat than my other furnace, uh, so we've upgraded to my uh, aluminum furnace that I've shown in a previous video. And what we're going to do is, this is a failed bar mold. Uh, I tried to pour, but I poured way too much. So I'm going to use this small crucible and see if that makes things any better. So that's going to go in the charcoal uh, along with the bar mold so that it doesn't solidify instantly. And uh, now we need to give it a little bit more heat, so we'll turn on the air. After a surprisingly short amount of time, everything is molten. Uh, you can see it's a real nice cherry red, which is pretty awesome. And the mold is, is red as well. So we're going to take these out and uh, do the ingot pour. See the mold's beautiful red. And it's got a lot of ash in it, so we're going to get rid of that with some compressed air. Now for the uh, actual mold, or the uh, crucible rather, I gotta go quick because this stuff solidifies fast. And so here's the results. We've got tin, lead, bismuth, zinc, and aluminum. You can see the aluminum is a bit bigger than the others because of the difficulty in pouring it. 
I'll have to perfect that technique. But for now, I think it'll be good enough. I'll be posting another video soon uh, where we go over some of the properties of these. But I just wanted to show in this one how they were made. Thanks for watching.